<laughs> Tomorrow marking one month since 17 year old Eric Cantu was shot by a former San Antonio police officer. Now Eric Cantu is still in the hospital and tonight his family was invited to a vigil at the McDonald's where those shots were fired. The night team's John Paul Barajas is there and John Paul, the family says they couldn't be there tonight. Steve, Stephanie, that's right, and that's because they're by Eric's bedside. His recovery has not been an easy one. His mom tells me that he's scheduled to have an invasive procedure tomorrow, and for that reason, they had the prayer vigil tonight. God, I raise up the name of Eric Cantu, son of his blessed parents, beloved of his community. Community members and organizers from the Party for Socialism and Liberation gathered to pray for continued progress in Eric Cantu's fight to survive. No justice! as well as chant for change and justice. Cantu's friends took time to speak to the crowd. I love my best friend. He's like a brother to me. He's family. And justice needs to be served for what that man did to my family. Nobody deserves to be shot that many times. Cantu's parents say he was shot at least four times back on October 2nd. Today, his mother, Victoria Casares, shared this statement that reads in part, James Britton didn't have to gun down my child. He didn't have to mutilate his young body with bullets. Eric's the light of our lives. All we want is for him to recover. I hope with the support of our community, we can work together to keep Eric's horrific case in the spotlight to not only get him justice, but also to ensure this never happens to anyone else. The ex-police officer is out on bond and, he's, and Eric Antu is struggling for his life in the hospital. One police officer, any police officer, um, cannot be judge, jury, and executioner. And as mentioned, tomorrow marks one month since that shooting here at this McDonald's. The family says they've been living in the hospital with Eric the entire time. As for this statement, if you want to read the full statement, we'll have that on our website, ksat.com. John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.